So, being a guy, I like everything that goes boom, <laughs> that burns gas, that has fire, and uh, that has wheels. Um, and the reason why I'm mentioning this is because I love to barbecue and to take care of the grill, so uh, to clean them, you probably have something like this, don't you? Or you thought, oh, I'm going to spend big money onto a Pampered Chef one and still end up like this. Or you're tired of, you're going to go to the dollar store and get you something like that. So all those bristles, they end up somewhere and they end up either at the bottom of your barbecue or they can even end up in your meat. And that could be a trip to the hospital to get those bristles out of your stomach. And that could be dangerous. So, um, my wife showed me a video last year, and this is a year ago, of uh, somebody using a uh, piece of wood to clean their barbecue. And I decided to do the same thing. I tried it. So this is a uh, shingle from uh, leftover um, because I built a, uh, uh, my kid's uh, uh, crooked house. So I started um, following the uh, my grill. Okay, you can see some of the grooves. It worked awesome. Okay, but there's no handle. It's just a piece of wood. This one's been uh, on my barbecue for the past year, or around my barbecue. So what I did is I made my own stick. It's got a handle. It's got a place to hook it up. Uh, and now it starts to follow the um, uh, my grill the exact same way my grill is. Uh, it took some time. This one is close to a year old because I started with the piece of wood um, and It was it's old wood cedar. It's always good seems to the only thing it, it started to uh, have weather uh, weather color Okay, so um, I'll show you how I built uh, 70 of them So around I came across a free ad on Kijiji so I made my way to the owner and picked up some uh, cedar and this is just a bit of the stuff that I picked up and uh, I cut it to length so it'd be uh, easy to cut on my table saw once on the table saw I just cut it rough to remove all the uh, the edge and then uh, when all my blocks were all cut I cut them to the exact uh, thickness and length. On my press drill, I use my Forstner bit 2 inch to cut the shape of the handle. Then once that's done, I went back to my table saw and cut the excess material to shape my uh, handle. To help me do some sanding, I first did the round up bit on my uh, router table. This makes a better finish on the handle. Once happy with the dimension, I just cut the, uh, the tip at a 45 degree. Then for the uh, very last time, I went back to my press drill and drilled a hole big enough so I could hook it up on my uh, barbecue and on the uh, both sides. So on this uh, clip I just show you that uh, you can use the, uh, the barbecue uh, scraper itself to oil the top of your grill. So if you guys stuck around to the end, I hope you liked the video. Um, I hope you found it uh, informative. Um, I made all those. 70 of them for a uh, craft show that me and the wife are, are going and I'm hoping to uh, sell them for about $10 a piece since it didn't take me that much time to make them okay. and guys it does work and I made one out of uh, oak okay, it's a little bit <laughs> uh, yeah it's on steroids uh, if it's longer your hands are not um, above the fire so short, short one, your, your hands tend to be above your, uh, your grill, but it does really work better than, uh, than the other one. Not at the beginning, but after a while, 
Well, you can see the groove, how deep they are. They just follow, follow the barbecue. So, and plus, smells good. And you can uh, dip the, uh, the tip into the oil and oil your grill as you're doing it. Yeah, so. Anyway, hope you liked the video, finding it informative or even uh, gave you ideas of how to make your own. So, uh, if you did like it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, give me a little comment if you uh, ever made or have something similar, or you, if you even had a an accident with one of those. Okay, man, this could be dangerous. I'm glad it never happened to me. Okay, so see you next time.